Hello and welcome to Will It Ferment? Will It Ferment? Today, cheating a little bit, because I know it's going to ferment, which is why I'm going for the big bottle. Okay, so this is a five litre bottle. Uh, we're going to start with regular apple juice, which we know works, and that just makes cider. But what we're going to add, which will be the different bit today, is wild organic pomegranate juice. So this will be a apple and pomegranate cider. Uh, the other thing that's a little bit different is that I ordered some new yeast and I actually got this special cider yeast. Um, so this will be the first time I've tried using it. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of cider that makes. So first thing I need is a funnel. Open up this apple juice. And in it goes. Okay, so that is three liters of beautiful apple juice. Now we're going with pomegranate juice. Nice colour. That's one litre. Now probably won't get all this in. I think that's about it. There's a little bit left in there. Uh, actually, I'm going to have a little taste of this just to see what it's like. Okay, that's nice. There's a nice tartness to that, which should be nice in the cider. Um, now I need to add my yeast. I'm probably going to need half of this. And it goes, I reckon that's about half. Close it up and give it a bit of a shake, stir it all up, dissolve the yeast a bit and aerate it all. Okay, that is a gorgeous colour. Okay, one airlock. In she goes. It's a bit wet so I reckon that's going to... Off, so we'll just chuck a rubber band on there to hold it in. And that's done. Here is the apple and pomegranate juice. Just look at all those bubbles going in there. That airlock going bloop de bloop. Look at him go. Definitely happy with how this one's progressing. This is the apple juice and pomegranate cider. This appeared to have stopped fermentation. So I transferred it into a new bottle a few days ago and added some sugar at that point. Now, it's possible that the yeast might have reactivated and started fermenting again because of the new sugar that's been added. So I want to take a new reading and see if the gravity has changed at all. It doesn't look to me like there's been any further fermentation. I haven't seen any activity in the airlock or any bubbles, but I just want to 
check based on the gravity and see what it says. So the gravity after adding sugar was 1.020 and the gravity now looks like 1.020. I'm calling that finished. What's next? Tasting. I made a bit of a mistake in the original pomegranate video. I forgot to record the tasting section. So I went ahead and redid the whole fermentation experimentation and made a whole new batch, which I can now taste on camera. Fortunately, this comes out really nice, so I don't mind having an extra batch. Here it is, beautiful red color, relatively clear. Let's have a taste. Cheers. That's really nice. I'm giving this a four out of five. Very much enjoyed this one. Cheers.